Hello everyone, it's Kai e. Nick, or also known as probably Spider-Man. I've recorded this intro seven times, and today we're going to be doing one of the most obvious choices for an upload for a Spider-Man channel, which is my Spider-Man 2 suit wish list. I like Spider-Man, and one of my favorite things about playing the Spider-Man video games is that every five minutes I get to change my costume because I'm really indecisive. Uh, I might do more videos on the PS4 game in the future. I might want to revisit my tier list video that I privated because it was cringe. And yeah, I might do more videos in the future on the PS4 game. But I'm going to go over the rules. There are going to be rules for this video. I'm not going to be doing any obvious picks for a costume. So I'm not going to be saying anything like the TASM 2 suit because that's probably going to be in the next game. I'm not going to be saying, oh, you should put the suit from the end of Spider-Man No Way Home because they're obviously going to put that suit in anyway. You know what I mean? They've always put the new movie suits in with the exception of the TASM 2 suit and I guess the black suit from the Raimi movies. But I'm not going to say anything that I 100% expect them to put into the next game. Next rule. No Miles Morales costumes are going to be mentioned in this video and it's not for the reason you think. I'm going to I'm going to avoid mentioning any Miles suits because Miles has such a small closet of costumes that if they even want to add any costumes in the next game, they're just going to have to pick whatever suits Miles currently has. Like there's such a small variety of Miles Morales costumes that any costumes that have come out since the previous game, they're probably just going to put in this one. So, Miles is one year anniversary suit or 10 year anniversary suit that's probably going to be in the game like any miles suit i say on this list that i like is probably going to end up in the game anyway so that's it that's it for the rules i'm sorry for dragging on for like a minute i don't know how long this first part's going to be because i've recorded like seven takes now but we're going to get we're going to get into the suits now yeah Hello, we're back to the non-scripted section of this video. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm, I, like, it's been an hour since I was working on this video. I got distracted. I had, like, two hot dogs. I took a bunch of pictures of my costumes in, like, a suitcase because I thought it looked cool. And then I exposed a uh, fan on Twitter for being horny. And uh, I need to, like, get my ADHD in check because I'm, like, all over the place right now. So let's talk about the Ditko suit. That's coming up first. And I know, I know there was like sort of a classic Ditko era suit in the game, but that's not really a classic suit as much as it is the normal classic Spider-Man suit with a comic book shader thrown over it. I want like a classic classic suit. Now don't get me wrong, the classic comic book shader suit was great, but if there was one thing I could change about it, I just wish it was a little more Ditko. So. Ignore anything I just said about the comic shader suit. I want a, a Ditko costume. Like, I want a classic, classic Spider-Man outfit. Like, the one that looks like the one he first appeared in. I want it red and black with a blue back emblem, smaller, squintier, rounded eyes, and a big, goofy front logo. And I want the underarm webbing. Alright, Insomniac, I don't know what you were, what you were doing when you took out the web cape. And like you just remove all flowy elements from any of the Spider-Man outfits. I want, I want underarm webbing. I'm tired of everybody removing underarm webbing from Spider-Man. I want underarm webbing. It's such a cool little feature of the Spider-Man suit that's always neglected. Like in the Stark suit in the MCU movies. Oh, it's like a cool little gadget. No, I want that shit to be silly and pointless other than for flair i love i love underarm webbing it's so cool bro shout out to all my underarm webbing homies that shit is so awesome i fucking love underarm webbing and if we get this suit in the next game it has to be underarm webbing or nothing underarm webbing or nothing that's how much i love that shit anyway next suit next suit in the video let me think let me think of a funny gag to goof on how Ben Riley was character assassinated recently. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of a funny joke. Or, or I don't have to make a funny joke as a transition to saying I want the Beyond suit for the next slot. I can just put this slide in. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. 
I love the Beyond suit. I hated it at first. I know everyone's like, ew, the logo's non-centered, whatever. Yes, okay, before I get into this, yes, I do think the suit would look better if the logo was centered, but I do think it's kind of cool. Anyway, I like the Beyond suit. We need more Ben Riley representation. Anyway, I think I'd love to show Insomniac, or I'd love for Insomniac to show Marvel that we love Ben Riley as a community by putting more Ben Riley costumes into the game. And I think maybe even do a little bit of teasers with all of them, like a cool little post that shows all three of them. You know, the Scarlet Spider outfit, the Beyond suit, and the Sensational suit. Because I think there's a lot of Ben Riley love out there that Marvel just loves to ignore. But yeah, I'd love for the Beyond suit to be in the game. And I'd love to see Insomniac do their little spin on it. Because you know Insomniac loves to add touches and stuff. Like the like the armor plating on the big time suit. I'd love to see what they can do with the Beyond suit. Because Insomniac does such a good job of redesigning Spider-Man outfits. They Most of the time they do a really good job. So yeah, I want the Beyond suit. And to follow up that one, I also want the ins I want the sensational Spider-Man outfit. I'm like stuttering a bit. I'm, I, f I really feel like I should start scripting out my videos, but talking about it just feels more natural for me. And I don't know, scripting is hard. But anyway, I want the sensational Spider-Man outfit. I thought it was really weird that it wasn't in the last game, especially since the sensational Spider-Man outfit is one that we see very often in the Spider-Man video games. It's a pretty popular alternate suit. Like, it was in Edge of Time. It wasn't in Shattered Dimensions. Yeah, it hasn't been in a game since Edge of Time, actually. I remember it being in the older ones, but anyway. I just really like the sensational suit, and I wish it was in the game. That's all. I, I really thought that it was in more games than just Edge of Time and like some of the older ones, but I forgot, I guess. I just had a lapse, uh, lapse, lapse in memory. I really need to start scripting these videos. All right, for the next suit, I wanna do the Alex Ross costume. I think that would be really cool to honor one of the greatest Marvel artists of all time to include their original design for, I believe it was the Sam Raimi movies. Alex Ross designed the original costume and they were like, no, we want the classic one, but this is still pretty cool. But I'd love for Insomniac to honor one of the greatest Marvel artists of all time by including one of his original designs in the game. I love Alex Ross so much. One of my favorite things about uh, his art for Spidey is that he always adds, like, human aspects into his outfit. Like, you can see his mouth under his mask sometimes. You can see segmenting in the gloves and on the neckline to show that that's where Peter takes off his masks and his gloves. I love that, and that's one thing I love to emulate whenever drawing Spider-Man. And I love Alex Ross so much, and I think it'd be really cool if they honored him by putting in his original design for Spider-Man into the game. I know I've been doing a lot of red and black costumes on this list, and I'm going to continue beating that dead horse by including a what-if costume, the Flash Thompson Spider-Man outfit. This outfit is cool. I like it. It's a cool, you know, little quiet design for Spider-Man. It's a lot more simple than the original costume other than like the big grand logo that is almost ricocheting all over the red sections. Um, and I heard, I heard, I'm going to go on a little non sequitur here. I think that's what that means. But I heard that they're going to do a black suit variant for every costume. That's stupid. If that's true, I think to save themselves the time, they should just have like a library of black costumes you can pick from. I don't know if it's going to be like Web of Shadows where you can flip in between them. That's what I'm thinking. So you have the normal costumes that aren't symbiote. You pick one of them and then you have a separate menu full of black costumes and you can pick the black costume you want. So whenever you want to turn into the symbiote Spider-Man, you can just wear the one that you have selected from your black suit menu. And if you want to go back to the classic costume, it'll go back to the regular non-symbiote costume you were already wearing. Does that make sense? Okay, that makes sense. Let's get back to Flash Thompson Spider-Man. I'm gonna do a brief little synopsis. This is a what if story, again, because this is not the first time they did this with Flash Thompson, but this is what if Flash Thompson became Spider-Man. Essentially, it's a story handling how Flash Thompson being a bully carries on into him also being Spider-Man. He ends up accidentally killing Parker and then uh, throwing himself away in jail, he turns himself in, 
I haven't read the comic. I've only just heard a little bit about it and seen some of it. But that's what happens. And I think this costume's really cool. And I think they should put it in the game. Why not? I could live... I could do without this one. I just think it's cool. The Spider-Man Life Story spacesuit would be a really cool addition. And it would be one of those costumes that's sort of a zany pick. It's like a pick that you wouldn't really expect. But it's also a really cool reference to the Spider-Man Life Story series. This comic book was the first comic book to ever make me cry. Spider-Man Life Story is so good, and I think they could honor that comic book by taking the suit that Peter Parker wears when he goes to space. It's a cool little costume with an LED light-up mask. There's also a Miles Morales variant, and you can throw that in Miles' closet of alternate suits if you'd like. God knows he needs more alternate suits. Not because I don't like his original, but... I like to see new things. But yeah, I think the Spider-Man Life Story spacesuit would be pretty cool. And you could think of a spacey sort of gadget mod to throw over it if you'd like. Alright, next, we're going to cover the Unlimited suit. Now I know some of you are going to go, Kai, why didn't you pick any of the suits from the any of the other animated TV shows? Like, why did you pick this one? Well, it's the only one that's not the classic suit. And I think it's a cool little homage to that one weird show that only like five of us out of a collective 25 have watched it's it's a cool design it's a pretty cool design they better keep the web cape i'm just saying i could live or die i could live or die without this costume whatever but they better keep the web cape if they put it in all right i was i was upset when they took the, t the web cape off of 2099 i get it physics it's hard to program but web capes are cool all right web anything is cool all right web pits web capes they're both awesome and i i i'm tired of this web erasure we got going on so anyway now we're going to talk about bullet point spider-man that one time where bruce banner became spider-man but without any of the powers that make him bruce banner he's just spider-man uh he's sort of got like a grayish purple costume he's got like a he's got the spider-man utility belt on there with the big red glowing emblem which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be the spider signal. I know they did this for the Ben Riley costume, but they give him a utility belt with a big red button on the center, and I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the spider signal, but people just think it's a big red button because the artist gets too lazy to draw the spidey face on there. But I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. But anyway, all right, so now we're gonna go on to the more uh, out there suggestions this is more sort of a idea segment where i spit ideas for community events or in-game features so my first idea is insomniac could hold a community contest where they could offer cash prizes and put some of the community's fan designs into the game they could hold a contest they could hold two separate contests or three they could hold one contest for a Peter Parker outfit with a cash prize, a second play or a second contest for a Miles Morales fan design concept with a cash prize, and then a third for a symbiote costume with a cash prize. I think it'd be cool to see the community reflected in a Spider-Man game. Since the Spider-Man community is so strong and often very vocal about what Marvel is doing with the character i think it'd be cool to see one of the biggest facets of spider-man media right now coming down to the community and taking some of their ideas and putting them in the game obviously with credit i don't think they should just be snatching up fan designs i think it should be you know a mutual exchange like the fan that wins gets paid for their effort and they win the prize and of course the glamour of having their very own design in a video game I think that would be a cool idea, but also there's a lot of toxicity that goes on with the Spider-Man fan community, so maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe people will get jealous and get mad at one another because they didn't win. Maybe the winner gets mad at Insomniac for not creating their costume as accurately as possible. I think it could go either way, but depending on how the community takes it, I think that would be a very cool idea. Alright, so next we're going to do... Sort of another zany idea, and that will be the last point I cover, a semi-customizable suit. Now, 
what what the idea here is is that you would just get your classic spider-man suit and i know a lot of people in the community just love the classic suit and that's it and this is sort of a way where people can customize their own classic spider-man you give them a classic spider-man template you give them control over how you know varied the webbing is make it a broader pattern or a more tight pattern of webbing maybe give them control over which logo they have over the suit which kind of eyes logos on the front and back by the way and then give them control over the shades of blue or black or maybe even give them any color they want for the secondary colors and then for the red on top you can give them whatever color they want sort of a customizable classic spider-man suit where you can swap out the logos and eyes and make it sort of look like what your definitive classic spider-man would look like i think that'd be a cool idea where all you you know it's not enough or it's not a lot of effort i don't think all you would have to do is just you know design a couple of different spider-man logos design a couple of eyes and then program a sort of slider to slide in between how thick and how thin you would want the webbing to be on your suit it may be a little difficult but i still think it'd be a pretty cool custom suit you can put in without like slaving for hours on making a way for the community to make super intricate custom costumes and kind of meet them in the middle i think that's a cool idea hello uh i know i spit a lot of big old ideas in that end section of that video i hope they all came across and kind of made sense due to the non-scriptedness i have a feeling that they don't but i hope some of you at least know what i'm talking about hopefully all but uh again thank you so much for watching this video uh if you want to go see what i'm doing all the time i'm usually on all of my social medias which are all up on screen right now and if you want to see any more stuff from me you can always look in the link in the description read my webtoon or whatever again i'm really excited for spider-man 2 uh the video game of course i'm really excited uh i know a lot of the time in this video i was like super anal and like really fucking like angry and like playing it up and uh i know a lot of this stuff is hard i know making these costumes is hard and i'm sorry if it doesn't come across as me knowing that and making that clear that i'm aware of that but Designing video games and designing costumes, it's not very easy, and I'm glad that Insomniac do what they do, and I'm very grateful for all of them. So, again, uh, anything that I say that's even remotely insensitive towards Insomniac is just supposed to be a kind of bad joke or whatever, but thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. Uh, my channel has been doing really good recently especially since after the design your own spider-man costume video which only after about like two weeks after releasing i hate it and want to redo it so uh i really appreciate you guys uh thank you so much for watching and uh i'll see you guys in the next one bye be nice to someone today goodbye <laughs>